Well, it's time to buckle up because we're gonna start building something really cool. As a junior developer, I really struggled to pick a career path for myself. Um, but recently I decided that no matter what, I'm gonna go with the mixed reality and augmented reality development. Uh, because this industry will be definitely huge. You know, it's really fun and cool and exciting to have a virtual object in your living room that you can interact with. But we also need to understand that with all these innovations, the way how we interact will also change. So that's why I want to invite you, my friend, to be a part of the journey where we will deploy different uh, uh, projects on the Magic Leap 1 device. It will be super exciting and if you're still confused and you don't know, let me tell you something. In the future will happen no matter what, nobody will ask me or you, it will just happen. Look around and tell me how many products uh, didn't exist 10 years ago that are on the market right now. Did anybody ask our permission as a consumers? No, of course, no, they just deliver. What we need to understand is that really important to be on board with all those new technologies and I'm here to help you with that. Uh, now it's time for us to dive into actual development. Uh, just a short disclaimer, in this uh, particular tutorial we're gonna use uh, React.js, uh, vanilla JavaScript uh, and uh, Magic Script Components uh, Framework. Uh, I already sketched a couple ideas, um, so there were three projects on my plate. There was a counter, again this counter, I don't know why, I mean because it's just, I guess, simple project. But anyway, there was a counter, there was a, a shopping cart, you know, like in, on the e-commerce websites. And then the last one was a business cart. I, I think of like what I wanna build and then I decide to go with the business cart. I don't know, just thought that it would be a cool project to, to build. Uh, just one more thing in this particular video, we're not gonna go through the uh, de development environment uh, setup for Magic Leap. We're gonna do actual uh, coding and I will explain some uh, concepts uh, that I already learned about uh, developing for mixed uh, reality. And bro, listen, if you're not subscribed, uh, listen, just do it right now, that's gonna be highly appreciated. And smash that like button. Okay guys, I'm ready to write some code. I charge my ML1 device. Basically what we have is a controller, a lightware, and then the light pack. Just a quick uh, tip, uh, whenever you will um, uh, deploy something over to Magic Leap device, uh, just make sure that your uh, workspace is pretty clean because uh, what you're gonna do is that once you have some piece of code that you wanna deploy, Basically, you will put on the variable and uh, move around to see your content. Okay, first thing that we want to do is to create a template for our project. And uh, I already configured my dev environment. So if you want me to create a separate video on that topic, please just let me know in the comment uh, section. Okay, here I need to stop for a second and explain uh, what type of applications are available on the Magic Leap device. Basically, there is uh, two types. It's a landscape and immersive, but what is the difference? So, it's pretty easy. Consider landscape as a prism application that will take just a certain amount of space in your environment. And you can also launch multiple landscape applications in your, uh, in your room. Let's say you can open a browser, a gallery, and uh, then like something else just next to each other. But immersive application will take the whole space, so then only one immersive app can be launched uh, at a time. In the scope of this video, we're gonna go with the components uh, template, which is actually a React um, ready application. So yeah, let's get started. Manager's file is where you can uh, where you can define a prism size. So right now I have uh, one on X, uh, uh, 0.5 on Y, and then uh, 0.1 on uh, Z axis. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I don't need a really big prism for that since it will be just a, a card, and I'll just keep it a little bit uh, bigger than it is right now, just you know to make it safe.
Magic Script components itself uh, have an official documentation. You can go to the components magic script.org. Uh, real quick, what I'm gonna use particularly in this video, it's a list of available components. Uh, we're gonna use a linear image and the text. Uh, I just basically import them. But because I don't know all the properties from on top of my head, I'm gonna just go and refer myself to the documentation. Okay, now we have at least one component and uh, I will deploy the application over to Magic Leap device. So then how you can do it is basically to run a pretty um, simple command, which uh, will be magic uh, script build dash i. What it's gonna do is it's gonna compile your application and then install it over to magic Leap device let's see if uh, if we are good and we don't have any errors Okay, our image is good, but we need to move it a little bit to the right because the left side uh, is a little bit uh, cut. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Yeah, and by the way, Magic Nick is not my real email. I'm just using that as a placeholder. So just don't, don't message that, don't email that person. Okay, I made our title a little bit bigger. I forgot to change the font size. Let me fix that real quick and we almost done. Also, I want to say that it's uh, up to you if you want to code in the in the in the variable and then just like watch your screen or you can do like what I did every time when I um, deploy the application, I will just leave my variable on the side and then once I will install a new version of application, I will put it on. All useful information that I used will be linked uh, down in the description. Also, I have a question for you. How do you think we can extend our business card functionality? You can link all your ideas in the comment section. I'm actually really impressed how this video turned to be. So I think, uh, guys, we are done for this one. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. Bye.